In this video, let's talk about form action validations. Currently in our auth page, we have basic validations in place where we return a message if credentials are missing. The right approach to handling errors and validations though, is to use the fail helper function from SvelteKit. Let's import it at the top. Import fail from SvelteKit. The fail function lets you return an HTTP status code along with any data that is needed by the UI. If username or password is missing, we return fail, passing in 400 status as the first argument and key value pairs as the second argument. Message, missing username or password. Let's copy paste it for register function as well. Let's head to the browser and test it out. We are here at slash auth, no credentials and click on login. We see it still works as expected. Now there is a UX improvement we can make. At the moment, if you fill username and click login, the error message is displayed but the username is cleared out and we have to re-enter it. To prevent that behavior, let's go back to our fail function and return username as part of form data. Now in page.svelte file, we set the value attribute on the input element. Value, curly braces, if username was previously entered, set that as the value. If not, set empty string as the value. Pretty simple. Please also note that it's not a good idea to send the password value back to the page. If we now go back to the browser, navigate to slash auth, fill username and click login, the username value is preserved even after page reload. And this is slightly better UX if you ask me. All right, that is about form action validations in brief. In the next video, let's take a look at redirection. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.